Well, thanks for uh, being here and uh, appreciate it. And uh, to come on the road, our defense is playing lights out, and uh, that's obvious. Uh, the only issue that I have, I think, we offensive, uh, you control the line of scrimmage on both sides. And the negative is well, um, every time we try to have to be more balanced as we're getting ready. We know what's coming down the road next week, and and uh, you have to be a little bit more balanced than we were. So, and that starts right now with pass protection. That's the only negative. Positive is controlled line of scrimmage in the run game, and defense just did a marvelous job. And uh, really, that's back-to-back uh, -back weeks of playing excellent. So, I'll answer any questions for you. Front row there, Bill. Yeah. Obviously, JT is back, back there today. What do you think of his performance, and how do you handle anything that happened last week? Yeah, I think he. Uh, I wouldn't put it exceptional, but because uh, I think he got pressured a little bit. And uh, but I, you know, uh, he's a very good tempo quarterback. That's something that we're evaluating too. We need to do more of that. But he manages the offense very well. The only negative uh, of the whole night was even the interception was because he got hit. Is our, our pass protection, and we're going to work extremely hard on that. Uh, behind Bill, uh, Bill. Yeah, that was one of those moments. Uh, you know, I just challenged the offensive line. You know, up to that point, we're playing good, not great. You know, I knew their defensive line is the strength of their unit. But, uh, you know, with what's coming down the road, if I can't trust the offensive line right now, then uh, you know, we got a, we got a major problem. And uh, they came out the other end, did a nice job. So those are one of those, that's one of those moments that, uh, you know, you, you can't really, you try to train and prepare them for. So you can look me in the eye and say, can you get this? And obviously with Zeke and, and you know, Four returning starter, starters, you better be able to get that. And they loaded the box, but we came out the other end. So that was, a, that was we needed that for a little moment, momentum. Behind Bill, Doug? Urban, you're talking about the pass game. Is there anything that you can do or would do in the types of passes you call or how you attack it if the offensive line isn't going to pass? Before? Well, yeah, it's just all quicks. But that, that's no, the answer is they're, they're good enough. We just, we, I don't know if we work at it enough. That's what the challenge I'm going to have for our coaches. and. Do we work? And it's not just them. The tight end gave, you know, just we went a little seven-man protection, and they got beat one time. So it's just we have to really we're gonna we're gonna hammer that one hard this week. Over here to the right, Tim. Yeah, Urban Zeke had in the second half an impressive drive. There, seven out of like uh, eleven plays where he carried the ball five in a row and stuff. Did you just decide at one point put it on his shoulders and take it down? Well, we went tempo too, and we felt yeah. like our, our offense line and. and uh, you know, our coaching staff felt like we're starting to wear them down. The body blows were starting to take hold, and that's usually what happens in good teams in the second half. And uh, they were they were punching the line of scrimmage, and and uh, obviously he's a workhorse. He gets stronger as the game goes on. It's I want to say the majority of games this year, uh, teams do a good job of kind of taking him away, and then he just gets stronger as the day goes. I was going to say, and you go tempo, and he has five straight carries. That does what does that? Most tailbacks can't do that. You know, that's how the, the, you know, what kind of condition he is, as tough he is, uh, as tough as he is. But usually, guys have to sub in and out tailbacks, and I'm leery about that watching them. And Coach Alfred, they do a good job, but uh, uh, Zeke just gets tougher and tougher. That tells you how tough of a guy he is. Behind uh, Tim Ari. Uh, Urban, another Zeke question. Um, as you have gone back and forth from quarterbacks and um, you, uh, you're trying to find your rhythm on offense, can you just speak to the how valuable he has been just to you know, make oh, these 200-yard yeah. well, rushing games seem almost routine at times? And he's been like really the main constant for you guys offensively all year, maybe him and Mike Thomas. Yeah, uh, Mike Thomas too, and Jalen Marshall. I put Jalen in that category too, that those have been the consistent guys all, all year for us and really in this back half of our season. Uh, but we're not. We're certainly not in this situation without Zeke, because he is our. You know, there is some issues that we. You know, back and forth the quarterback, and we had another issue, and he's the one constant. And and Zeke could be the first one to tell you can't do it by himself. The offense line is uh, nailing them pretty good. So that's our strength. That's where we're most consistent. But we also know that to win the big, big one, you need to be balanced, and we're not quite there yet. Over to the left, Rob. Everyone wants to talk offense. They want 50 points. Is the calling card really at this point your defense? And, for and running the ball, you know, I think uh, anytime you have a kid, at, uh, I don't even know how, yards, how many yards for the season Zeke has, but I know it's one of the, you know, how many does he have, like 1,600 or something? He's got like about 1,400. Uh, Whatever he's got, but that's, I would say our defense and obviously offensively running the ball, which is, that's how you win championships. Clay? <clears throat> So you got to throw a better bottom line to win the next. We got to throw it better, but we got to protect better. I, I put it more on the protection right now than the actual throw and catch part because uh, I think we're throwing it pretty accurately. I mean, as far as his 19 or whatever it was, it's just the pressures that we should be getting pressured. Zeke is third all time now behind Archie and Eddie. Wow. What's your take? That's on? pretty because uh, I grew up in that era with Archie and, and uh, Eddie and. 
someone told me that on the sideline even to say that just kind of takes your breath away because I grew up watching those guys and, and uh, I know if you had any choice of tailbacks in the country, I got mine. And, uh, I think I'd be speak on behalf of our team. He's a tough guy. A couple more questions behind you, Teddy. Uh, Joey Bosa, there was a play where he's actually getting triple teamed today. How do you think he responds to that, and what does it do for the other D line? Or he has been. Uh, it's been a, a really pleasant uh, growth of Joey. He's a team guy. He's a, a leader now. You know, last year he was not. He was kind of that guy who just went and did his own deal and did it very well. But he's all about team right now. He's all about being selfish. He understands that uh, by the focus on him, it's going to release. So I guess Tommy Shutt got a sack. And you see Hubbard in the backfield. Taekwon, you know, I see impression of. So he's the, uh, right now the ultimate team guy. And final two, Steve. Yeah, Coach, uh, you talked a lot about being nine units strong. Just today, you mentioned the offensive line maybe wasn't their best game. But uh, each game, it seems a different unit. Maybe the one holding you back, just how close are you to getting to where you need to be, uh, to where you feel you got to be the play Michigan State. Well, I, I didn't say the offense line because when you run the ball against a stout defense for whatever we ran it for, 260, uh, whatever we ran it for, rush yards, rushes, yards, 283. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's 250 is our goal each week. So it was just in pass protection. The offense line is strength of our team. And uh, it starts with running the ball, but we just got to do a little bit better in pass pro. Uh, to win the next week, we're going to have to be nine strong. And that's a good point. That's something we're going to. Uh, continue to hammer. And last question. Pretty close here. today, though. Pretty close on defense. All four units played very well. I think the receivers played well today. Uh, every opportunity they got, you know, I think our quarterback did pretty good. It was just pass protection issue, uh, issues that we have to get fixed. Young man. What about the uh, offense overcoming that three or four possession stretch towards the uh, second quarter when you guys were just punting and punting? How, how were you guys able to overcome that? Our punter did a heck of a job uh, playing field position and then. Uh, um, I think what someone made the comment earlier, just when it got bogged down, we went tempo and just started giving it to Zeke. And that, that, that was the body blows during the course of the game. And that was a difference.